Hi everyone, welcome back. I am Chandra Sharan. In today's video, I am going to tell you how to ask questions about ability. So first of all, we should learn how to ask a question in different ways. This is very very important thing. In today's video is completely about how to ask one thing in several ways or in many ways. This is very important. Now uh, I will tell you how to ask questions about ability in different ways. So every one of us has certain abilities. How can we express our ability? For instance, so you want to know whether someone can uh, uh, speak in English or not. So how will you ask? We can ask it in many ways. For instance, can you speak English? We can ask like this. We have different kinds of structures. For example, can you plus V1? Are you able to plus V1? So will you be able to plus V1? Is it possible to plus V1? So were you able to plus V1? And will you be able to plus V1? Like this, we have different kinds of structures in English. We need to learn all these kinds of structures so as to ask questions about uh, ability. Everyone has some kinds of ability, but we need to ask whether someone has certain skills, abilities or talents. For instance, you want to ask someone whether the person can drive a car or not. So you can ask them, can you drive a car? So can you operate the computer? Instead of asking can you, you can also use are you able to operate the computer? Are you able to type? Are you able to walk fast? So will you be able to come tomorrow? It's asking questions about the future ability. Will you be able to plus V1? For instance, someone is familiar with only some particular expressions. For instance, uh, can you operate computer? They can easily understand and they can answer with ease. But if the question is asked in some other way, they may not be able to answer quickly. So they may have to face some difficulties to understand the question. So your listeners may come to know that you are not fluent in English. So in order to avoid such a thing, we have to learn so many structures that would help us to express our uh, uh, feelings and thoughts so easily. Not only for this, for each and everything, we have different kinds of structures. In today's video, I am completely focusing on uh, asking questions about uh, ability, whether you have ability or not. Uh, as I said earlier, can you drive the car? So, yes, I can drive the car. No, I can't drive the car. I can't drive. So, you, you can easily answer. For instance, are you capable of driving the car? If someone asks the questions in a different way, way but we find it very difficult. Uh, uh, capable of, because you may not have heard this expression before. So, maybe it is a new to you. So, in order to avoid uh, these kind of difficulties, I am asking you to learn certain things and try to bring them into practice. It's very, very, very important. You yourself will realize it in your real life situation. When you go and appear for the interview, when you are holding talks with someone in English, they will ask you something in a different manner. At that time, the, the entire expressions will be new to you. So, you, sometimes you may have to be feel ashamed of that without knowing its uh, meaning. So, the main objective of this unit is how to uh, express uh, certain things in different way, particularly asking questions about ability. It's a question, yes or no question, WH question, negative questions like this. For instance, uh, can't you come tomorrow at 10 o'clock? If it is asked like this, you can understand. The same thing can be asked in different ways. Okay. So, what I would like to uh, advise you is to learn a lot and practice and uh, bring them into practice so that you can be fluent in English. Thank you so much for listening uh, to my video. Let us meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.